May the Lord bless you and keep you in his loving arms, dear heart dwellers. I'd like to share with you a dream that we were given last Monday, May 10th. I was in a house with several other people milling around when a slight movement outside caught my attention. So I went through a sliding glass door into an unkept garden, and behind a very wide, tall tree was, much to my surprise, President Trump. He motioned for me to follow him through a gate in the garden wall into a small clearing where no one else was around. He said in a rapid low tone that he was being moved to a secure location and asked if I would meet him there as the situation was urgent to ensure his safe passage. He also said that he needed myself and others to create a distraction to keep some unscrupulous people from tracking him. I immediately agreed and asked how I would know where to go. President Trump quietly responded, Do you remember the location of the clear push pins on the map? He continued, If you do, then just nod your head. He was referring to a dream I had back in January of this year, and there was a map of the United States with colored and clear push pins all over it. I nodded and recalled where the clear pins were located. He murmured, Good. My men and prayer will help guide you. I got the impression that I was to head towards the largest cluster of clear push pins. Just then, Genesis 50:20 came to my mind. You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done the saving of many lives. I got the feeling that where we were going was previously used to harm people, and now the Lord was going to use the secure underground location for His purposes and for our good. I said in an almost inaudible voice, Sir, it's as if you're still president. In a whisper, he replied, I am more of a president now than when I was publicly known as President of the United States. I was thinking, that's incredible. There is so much we don't know about is what is happening behind the scenes. And then I woke up. Sure enough, two days after this dream, President Trump was moved from his residence in Florida to a secure location. After sharing this dream with Mother Claire, we had discerned to buckle down and press into serious prayer as a community to help foil the plans of the unscrupulous and create a distraction for President Trump's safety, and that any assassination attempts would fail, and to pray for America and against the outbreak of war. This is the second dream we have had this year where President Trump has imparted to us vital information regarding the enemy's tactics and what to pray for and against. He has been turning up the heat for conviction for those facing military tribunals for their crimes against our nation, and they are desperate to take him out. Dear family, we need to continue to cover President Trump, now more than ever, as what has been done in darkness will soon come to light, and our nation will see the good that President Trump has done, and the uninformed will know the truth. Lord, do you have anything to say? Jesus began. You all will be much tested over the next several months, even to the point of your faith being greatly shaken. Oh Lord, please help us. Keep us steadfast and deeply rooted in your vine. The Lord continued, I will grant you perseverance, which will strengthen you to keep moving forward towards my plans for you and this community. There are many distractions in the world that keeps my people from clinging to me. As the deep state continues their evil plans and brainwashing tactics, to occupy your minds and keeps your attention on worldly pursuits and selfish ambitions. The diet you are all being fed from your government, 
the media, the internet, and the enemy is poisonous and destructive. I have spoken to my precious ones several times about simplicity and keeping your focus on me. I got your attention when your rhema and reading spoke about obedience and faith unto death. One of the readings was in Philippians 2.8. Christ became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. The Lord continued, Yes, radical obedience is what I require during these times, before what has been done in darkness will now be brought into the light, and what has been concealed will be opened for the whole world to see. The elitist agenda is to depopulate desensitize and divide people, targeting those in government to funnel all into their version of how citizens of America and the world should behave and interact with one another, programming you into believing the illusion and becoming devoid of human emotion, especially love, love of me, love of your brother, and having compassion on the impoverished. I need your prayers and your sacrifices more than ever during this time, as my heart grieves beyond measure for those who will not turn to me. Listen for my voice, and I will guide and fortify you. I will be with all of you, giving supernatural graces when and where needed through this time of trials, and I'll be right there by your side with my wisdom power, and authority. All will be accomplished according to my will. You are all so dear to me, and great is my love for you. If you remain faithfully steadfast, immovable, and trust in the Lord your God, you will not be moved by events which will unfold before your very eyes. I love you and grant you my peace.